We put the non-alcoholic mixers in the pan with the Nox gelatin and we're now just stirring until the gelatin melts. So the next thing you do is we actually pour the liquor into the mixture. I'm going to give it a quick stir. And for this one, because there's a little bit of technique involved, we're actually making a slanted key lime colada. We're going to actually just fill the mold up just a little bit because this is going to be the top of your actual jello shot. Okay, so one of the keys to this is make sure that you put your mold on a cutting board or something flat because you're going to need to transfer it obviously to the refrigerator. Okay, so now we're going to make the green layer of the key lime colada. So we put in the non-alcoholic items. It's going to be a quarter of a cup of limeade plus two tablespoons. And then we add two tablespoons of pineapple juice. And you want to make sure that these are also at room temperature because the Knox doesn't melt very well when it's cold. Then we're going to add two pouches of Knox. And you just sprinkle it in. And you try to sprinkle it in fairly lightly so it starts to dissolve a little bit. At this point, there's no heat. You um, are just adding this into the liquids with no heat on the stove. I like to, before I turn the heat on, get them all kind of sprinkled in and then give it a quick stir. And after it looks like it's all soaked in there just a little bit, it'll be a little bit chunky, I turn the heat on. And I would suggest turning it on low. And then you just stir it until the knox melts. So now that we've actually um, stirred this up and got the knox to dissolve, we're adding the liquor. This is uh, key lime whipped by Pinnacle, which makes a delicious key lime colada. And because um, this actually is turned just a little bit orange because of the pineapple juice that we have in there, we're going to add in a drop or two of food coloring, green food coloring, to turn it green. You'll want to be very careful about how much you put in there because it can turn really green really quickly. So just a drop or two will be great. It'll turn a really pretty color of green. And then all you do is we've pulled our mold out of the refrigerator and you'll notice that these are all slanted now. And we're going to add the green layer, which is actually going to be the bottom of your key lime colada. And when we're done, we put it back in the refrigerator and we let it set.